I didn't think we would be back in this situation, but apparently we are. For those of you who are unaware, um, one of my most popular videos that is not the uh, iceberg videos is the Last of Us Part 1 is a cash grab of a remake. And that video got a lot of hate and also a lot of praise because I was basically right about it. Um, yeah, it was graphically beautiful and everything, but nothing was different. It was just, hey, now you can play it on the PS5 and whoop de doo because we weren't able to play it on the PS3. The PS4 wasn't available digitally on the PS4 and 5. But yeah, show it another $70 because that's all Naughty Dog does. And Naughty Dog is out here doing it again with the Last of Us Part 2 remaster. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. So, this one is slightly different than how they did it with, um, with how they did it with The Last of Us Part 1 or The Last of Us, uh, The Last of Us Remaster. It is, it is something that you can either buy individually for the PS5 for probably $70. I haven't seen a price for that, actually. Or, something that Microsoft did back in the 360 transitioning to the Xbox One era, you can pay $10 to upgrade to the PS5 remaster if you have the PlayStation 4 version of The Last of Us Part 2. Now, to be honest, that part of it is not a bad thing. I, I get it, obviously, money and all that stuff. That's fine. It's the fact that this game is not that old. <laughs> and it's just ridiculous. Let's see, The Last of Us Part 2 came out in 2020, and it's already being remastered. Now, granted, this is three years later, almost four years later, whereas The Last of Us and The Last of Us uh, Part 1 Remastered was literally a year off, but that was because it was the last, it was, I think it was Sony's last game on the PlayStation 3, and then the PS4 came out, and that also came out. But, that was a little worse, you actually had to buy the entire game again for a full $60, I believe so, I might actually be wrong on that, so I won't say that's true. And the reason that we're getting so mad about it is because this is ridiculous. Naughty Dog has um, been doing the bare minimum lately. I'm currently looking at their Wikipedia right now. We can see ever since The Last of Us came out in 2013, we've had The Last of Us Left Behind, which is a DLC, The Last of Us Remastered, Uncharted 4, Uncharted Lost Legacy, The Last of Us Part 2, another Uncharted, The Last of Us Part 1, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, and the Untitled Last of Us game, which is supposed to be the multiplayer mode, The Last of Us Factions. Which, by the way, has still not come out yet. But they're gonna do The Last of Us Part 2 Remaster. Are you kidding me? Naughty Dog, like, what are you doing? And just to say, this is not just me that is tearing this apart. I'm looking on Twitter right now, and <laughs> people like Mischief is calling it out, saying I'm just gonna say it. This would have been free on Xbox. It's literally just a patch and one new mode. PlayStation has really become for the players. It's coming with roguelike mode, lost levels with dev commentary, guitar free play, graphical enhancements, dual sense integration, and more, they said. They're not, what, what, what else are you going to add to it without just making either a whole new game or putting in some actual effort? And if you go in the comments, it's insane. Why do we need a remaster of a three-year-old game? And it's just insane. Release, remastered, remake, port to a new console. And I'm happy to see that, like, The Last of Us Part 1, there was, like, a few minor... Like, there was a few of the minority people that didn't agree with, like, what they were doing, and I openly called out to it. But I'm glad to see, like, The Last of Us Part 2 remaster. People are like, no, what the hell? And, of course, the fanboys are also coming out. If you don't like it, don't buy it. It's that simple. Gosh. Yeah, you know what else is simple? Holding these companies accountable for some lazy fucking shit that they keep doing and that you keep gobbling up, which is letting them get away with this shit. Don't you guys want new games? I understand wanting remasters and remakes, but I'd want remasters of like old games. Jaws Unleashed, Conflict, all the SOCOM games, you wouldn't want to see those return, or j if we want to talk about specifically Naughty Dog, Jack and Dexter, all those games, like, you don't want to see those? 
There were even people asking for the Uncharted games to re get remade. I know there was like a graphical enhancement uh, version of them, but could you imagine Uncharted 1 getting remade? Because I always thought Uncharted 1 was a little bit finicky, but that's mostly just me. But it's insane to me that this is happening again, and people are defending it, and you guys are literally the reason why gaming has sucked. The Ackman, um, who I really love watching, put it in a great perspective. Really hope remastering the same game every four years doesn't become a trend, because that sounds lame as fuck. And I agree, dude. It's the most awarded game of all time. It deserves it. No, it does not. I actually even put, I actually even commented on it, said thanks Naughty Dog for giving me a sequel to one of my popular videos. And then I see people who are comparing it to like Bethesda and Skyrim with their re-release of Skyrim over and over again. First off, that was before this started becoming normal. Scott, unlike The Last of Us Part 2, when Skyrim came out, it didn't come out with all these controversies like, oh, why did it win everything in the Game of Year Game of the Year awards that year, even though it shouldn't have? There was a lot of questionable stuff happening. There was the controversial of like the story and all that stuff. If you want to deep deep dive into why this game is not like the greatest thing that's ever come out, please watch Angry Joe's video on it because. Yes, it is a good game. I will defend that The Last of Us Part 2, and of course The Last of Us uh, 1, not the fucking remake. I'm not wasting my money on that shit. I don't care. They were both really great games. The first one especially. Oh my god, I remember playing the crap out of it on my PS3. But Part 2 is not this game from, like, the game from the Heaven's Gate. It's not anything like... It's not Skyrim coming out. And you know the worst part about this? This is the remastered version. You know what's going to happen in a couple years, everybody? Notice how the PC version of The Last of Us Part 2 has not been announced with this remaster? That's because you already know what's coming. The Last of Us Part 2 remake. It is probably already on its way. And, or else, why wouldn't they have released the PC port by now? And also, why hasn't The Last of Us multiplayer mode come out yet? They know people are drooling for this mode and yet they refuse to do it they'd rather rehash use the same assets and do the same thing over again and turn a profit because these imbeciles keep buying this shit i can tell you right now i'm a huge Dead, Sp Dead space fan i love the dead space remake that ea did it also has been 10 fucking years and i'm telling you right now if ea came out with this year Dead Space 1 remake or remaster, whatever you want to call, what whatever your excuse is. I would also call them out for that. And to all the people who are saying like, oh, but Skyrim does it and no one's complaining about that. We have complained about it. Yes, when it went from 360 to Xbox One, we're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And then the special edition, we're like, all right. And then the anniversary edition, okay, relax, dude. But trust me. It's not just anti-Naughty Dog that these people think. They think that all these Xbox players and PC players are, like, after Sony for some reason. And, while well, yeah, some people are, like, doing a hate crime to Sony. But normal gamers, like, like, the majority of us are just like, why are you rehashing the same thing? You already released this a couple years ago. And all that sort of stuff. The only thing I agree with this... The only thing I agree about this is the $10 upgrade. It's nice. Um, I don't agree with Mischief here saying that um, if this was an Xbox game, it would have been a free upgrade. Maybe, maybe? I don't exactly know myself. Like, I can't verify that. Because I had Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Call of Duty Ghosts on 360. Transferred it to Xbox One. It was $10 for each. So, I genuinely don't know. We can't speak on something that hasn't happened. But I genuinely, but yeah, I genuinely don't believe that The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered is gonna look any different from The Last of Us Part 2. Jesus Christ, there's so many fucking sub names to this series. It's insane. I don't think it's gonna look any better. Like, they're saying, like, it's gonna. Like, it's saying you're gonna get graphical enhancements, which I how much like the ps4 this came out you have to remember this came out at the end of the playstation 4 era 
which means that they were already pushing that device to the max and looking at gameplay footage from the ps4 and like the newest ps5 game or the last of us part one on the ps5 it's not that big of a jump like you guys it, it seems like naughty dog is just gonna say whatever they want to try to sell this even if it's just a ten dollar upgrade I'm more worried about the people who are about to pay $70 for a game that should not be worth $70 still. But yeah, this video will probably get a lot of hate, and I will tell you right now to the Naughty Dog fanboys, I really don't care. Um, I don't agree with these practices. I don't agree that... I don't agree with re-releasing a game and charging the same amount is okay, acceptable, and no other person should as well. That being said, if you never played the game, this would probably be the best time to get it, as you know you're paying seventy dollars regardless for the game unless you buy it used on the playstation 4 but yeah um keep it up naughty dog can't wait for the last of us part 2 uh remake which you'll probably release next year and then maybe maybe another uncharted game uh keep it up